plenty of transfer news to uh, bring you up to date with. I'm joined by our reporter Adam Reid uh, in the studio. Mario Balotelli possibly played his last game in the Premier League, it's looking like. For the time being, at least, that's exactly how it seems. He's gone back to Italy, back to AC Milan. He's been in Italy and he's passed a medical at his former club and he's agreed to go there on a season-long loan for a second spell there. It really brings to an end a very unhappy gamble uh, by Liverpool and Balotelli uh, for them to bring him from AC Milan last season. Uh, it was close to the end of uh, the deadline. Liverpool brought in a striker and it's not really worked out for Balotelli. Um, he has struggled to make an impact... He scored one Premier League goal, he scored one Champions League goal, he scored one League Cup goal and only one Europa League goal. So he's really shared the goals around, but there's not been too many of them, Matt. So, but now he's, he's back in Italy and uh, back at AC Milan for a season-long loan. At least he's consistent, Adam Reid. Um, Quadrado, Chelsea, never really worked out there, did it? No, this is another player who seems to have struggled in England from coming from Italy and he's gone back there as well. But not, he came from Fiorentina in January and he's gone to the Italian champions Juventus. Big money Chelsea spent on him uh, in January and, and Mohamed Salah went the other way to Fiorentina. But now Juan Cuadrado, uh, he was a Colombian, he was a pretty good player for them in the, in the World Cup, came to Chelsea with, with high hopes but he's barely made an impact. Just 15 appearances, uh, one appearance this season against Manchester City. Everyone was slightly confused about that substitution. I think Maybe a little bit of mind games from Mourinho to, to make sure that he was in the shop window mm. for, for any team that wanted him. But he's gone back to Italy now and a season-long loan to Juventus. And back to Liverpool. And no one seems to know what's going to happen with this one. Lucas, a bit mixed messages from Brendan Rodgers last night. Yeah, Lucas uh, played uh, in the in the game against Arsenal last night. It was his first start of the season. He wasn't involved too much. Uh, it hasn't been involved at all, sorry, in, in the previous two Liverpool games this season. But Lucas is a very popular figure amongst Liverpool fans. They, they sing his name when even when he's not playing. Uh, and uh, Brendan Rodgers uh, was keen to point out what a crucial role Lucas uh, played in, in their team last night. But um, as he came off, Lucas gave a little wave, which some people are reading into. Could it be his last time to be seen? Brendan Rodgers was asked about this uh, last night uh, and, and this is what he's had to say about Lucas. Lucas is our best defensive midfield player we have. Um, there's games in which I'll play three midfield players but not always want the, a defensive specific one. But when we do need that, he's the best one that we, that we have. And he, uh, he came in tonight and done a great job. And yeah, he's very much part of what we're trying to do. Uh, so... But of course, every player wants to play every game and every minute of every game, and you can never guarantee that as a manager. But he's certainly very important to what we want to do. So, Matt, Lucas is a name that is linked uh, with a move away from the Premier League. Not too long to go before the end of the transfer window. September the 1st is the date for your diary. There's plenty of big transfers to, to come along. Kevin De Bruyne being one of them, maybe to Manchester City. And who knows, Manchester United may even get another player as well. Absolutely, absolutely can't wait. One of the uh, best days of the uh, football season. Now less than a week to go into the final major of the year in tennis, the US Open, and some of the top players have been enjoying some unusual practice on the extra hard courts of Manhattan streets. Roger Federer and Serena Williams were amongst those entertaining, uh, entertaining the New York crowds with even a more famous tennis faces in attendance. Adam Reid now reports. Stopping traffic in New York is no easy feat, but some of the world's best tennis players managed exactly that as they served up some very public preparation ahead of the US Open. They were joined on court by some more former winners at Flushing Meadows, with one two-time winner excited for some big matchups. The way Roger played last week, I mean, like he's timeless. He's ageless and timeless. Um, you know, I think the favourite going into the tournament's uh, Djokovic, but I think it's up for grabs. Federer may have turned 34 earlier this month, but he's back up to number two in the world after a faultless performance at the Cincinnati Open, not dropping a service game all week on his way to a resounding final win over Novak Djokovic. Serena Williams! Was also in town for the show, going for her seventh US Open crown and ready to renew her on and off court rivalry with Maria Sharapova. If future occurrences uh, are best predicted by past occurrences, it's hard not to, hard not to think anybody but Serena. Serena also arrives at the tournament, a winner in Cincinnati, and hoping to become the first woman since a certain Mrs. Agassi to complete a calendar Grand Slam. Now, though, for these players, next stop is the Arthur Ashe Stadium, ahead of the action for real next Monday. Adam Reid, TRT World.